I'll tell you what. What? Well, tell me. Are we recording? I just started. I'll tell you what. It doesn't bother me, but it's a funny thing because, and this is a little bit of whatever. When I started getting on the map uh -huh. with, uh, well, I did the album with Bill Ward that mm -hmm. got me on the map on the radar. And then John Sides started working with John Sides. We would go to gigs and people would swear that I was Mark Mendoza. Mark Mendoza from Twisted Sister, right? And so uh, for years, I, we would show up on the bus, get off the bus, and the fans would be there, sign. And I'd have to stand there and explain, guys, it's not me, I'm Marco Mendoza. Uh, I'm, you know, a lot of credit to Mark, and he's a sweet guy, and I love, I love the band, I love C, uh, D, mm -hmm. Snyder, and everybody. It's a great band, but it's not me. And after a while, you just stop explaining because they'd go, oh, come on, man, sign it. <laughs> and I'm like, no. So they would you sign? And they'd bring all these Twisted Sister albums. And you go, I had never been to And, and they go, please, please. I'll do it. Come and on. then, and now, Mark, uh -huh. we, we start getting the same thing from my stuff later, uh -huh. but occasionally. So we laugh about it. I did an interview with him. He's got a radio <laughs> show. And, uh, but anyway, that's cool. what it is, the Mark Marco thing. So. It doesn't bother me. I mean, I just love to be noticed, period. But gotcha. it's one of those things. You get it, Joe? Sweet. You're Joe, you're Joe Satriani, right? <laughs> Will you sign this for me? E aí, a galera que tá ligada aqui na Rádio Stay Rock Brasil, beleza? Hoje, tô aqui de novo com um grande amigo, monstro do rock. Já esteve White Snake, Dead Daisies, Thin Lizzy. Grande amigo meu, Marco Mendonça. Como estás, Fábio? Tranquilo, meu caro. Tranquilo. Beleza? Gusto, gusto verte, meu irmão. Good. Good to see you. Marco, man, there's so many things to talk about because last time I saw you was two and a half years ago. Yes. More or less. Yes, huh? what happened? Exactly, what happened? <laughs> Let's not talk about it. Oh, let's forget about it. I call it the Corona party. It was a party. True. Con piñatas y, y uh, uh, piñatas and um, uh, sabueira and uh, 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 um, feijoada. 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 Terça feira, segunda feira, <laughs> quarta feira, all that stuff. Oh, saudade Brasil, saudade. Marco, talking about, since you start talking about this Corona time, I remember when the departure of Dead Days for you happened pretty much in the Corona time. Yes. Right after just Corona. Yes. And then pretty much like a year and a half or two, what did you do in this time? Well, that was a, uh, 19, actually the beginning of 19 is mm -hmm. when I got really busy with my solo. My, if you remember, recall, my album, uh, Viva La Rock came out mm -hmm. uh, in, at the beginning of 18, February of 18. And I remember, I will never forget because February, my album came out, Target Mighty, and got some good reviews, it got noticed, it got a lot of love, mm -hmm. a lot of hits. And then we released the Dead Daisies album, and it just went, you know, my album came out, and then Dead Daisies came out, and it was like, <laughs> so. And I started touring with Daisies, obviously, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, great band, I had a great time. But we dedicated a lot of time to the Daisies, which meant very little time dedicated to promote uh, Viva La Rock. When that started getting, slowing down, I booked, I might have done two or three weeks of work mm -hmm. in 19, not in 18, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. And then when John decided to leave at the beginning, at the beginning of 19, uh, that's when I started getting invited to go do my solo stuff. Mm -hmm. So we booked and booked and booked, and I must have done a lot of shows all over the world. And festivals and mm -hmm. the whole thing. So I got on the map, and it did so well. Viva La Rock did so well that my label said, let's pick up the second option, let's do another album. Mm -hmm. So at the end of 19, we started working on the next album, which is now. Mm -hmm. It's called A New Direction. And uh, we finished, but then uh, no, we didn't finish. We were supposed to finish February of 20, February. Mm -hmm. I was supposed to fly to Copenhagen, meet up with Soren. We know what happened. Corona, I couldn't fly out, the whole thing. I remember that. We talked on the phone the yes. back then, I remember. And 
uh, you know, tours get canceled, everything gets canceled, the, the music industry shuts down completely, and everybody's waiting. So I was at home with my wife and my kids, enjoying family time, waiting for something to happen. Mm -hmm. So uh, I didn't make it out of the house and couldn't fly out until 21 to go finish the album. And this was in June of 21. And I was finishing the album in Copenhagen, so I, a lot of time had gone by. <clears throat> I, f I remember doing the final t vocal track, and I was on the taxi from the studio to the hotel, mm -hmm. and I get a call from Neil Sean from Journey. Uh -huh. And he says, Marco, where are you? I said, I'm in Copenhagen. What are you doing? I'm recording, man. Oh, no, man. When do you get home? I'll get home in a few days. Call me when you get back. So long story short, he, he's, you know, I need, we need you to cover for Randy mm -hmm. Jackson. We got some shows booked and you got to come in. I said, would you, he asked, would you, I said, absolutely. Great opportunity, great band. I'm a big fan, always will be. Legendary status, mm -hmm. uh, the songs to speak for themselves. Just to be part of that for a minute, I was, I did that. Mm -hmm. Along the way, I also worked with Greg, Greg Raleigh. Mm -hmm. We did, uh, we did some stuff there. Uh, there's an album cooking, I think. I also did uh, the, um, you know, um, I did a, a few other sessions, mm -hmm. but uh, <clears throat> but the one that's important mm -hmm. uh, for me right now is my solo. Al I mean, mm -hmm. they're all important, mm -hmm. but right now I'm touring behind my solo stuff, mm -hmm. and it seems to be catching. People love it. I'm getting invited everywhere and all that so uh, along the way we did do iconic I, I need to bring that up because i also remember i think it was last year what while europe was all shut down all the gigs are happening in america yes and i i remember you did some some a bit of a journey rest tour right american tour yeah with journey yeah we did we did a bunch of dates massive shows mm -hmm. really great mm -hmm. really great even though it was short-lived it was a great experience for me. And this year, I mean, you got a new um, um, album. Um, not album, the, a new um, single. Yes. Called uh, Take It to the Limit. Take It to the Limit. You like it? Freaking fantastic. Cool, brother. It's here. I'm listen I mean, I, I was listening the whole time. Like, awesome. Thank you. And uh, I want to talk about that as well, because the single, and also I know you know, you have an album on, in the pipeline, yes. something, right? And two other singles that, are, if everything goes according to plan. Oh, nice! So we got to talk about. That. Let's talk about this. This take to the limit, man. I saw the video. It's like insane, you know. It's crazy, huh? Oh hell yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, How? Morton. Morton's great. He's a he's a he's a the guy that shot it. He's a really creative mm -hmm. dude. And that was shot in nineteen. Really? Yes. The video was shot in December of 19 before I went home because we decided that was going to be the single. We were still working on the album. Uh -huh. And so he came and did, did a photo session and then shot the video. Mm -hmm. And so the, the video has been there since 19. So you shot this video in Denmark? Uh -huh. And it's been there 19, 20, 21, 23 years. Already. But so it, so how already. is it that I look younger? I don't <laughs> know. <laughs> <laughs> man, time for you never, it never, it just never passes. Oh know? no, it does, man. And, but, I, but I saw the video for the first time not too long ago. And went, wow, it's a fun video. It's uh -huh. just really crazy. I love it. I True. Love it. And uh, this song, how did you? I mean, the idea is right. The the this, this song. I mean, how, I'll tell you, man. Honestly, me and Soren uh -huh. and myself. We have this thing, we're like little kids in the studio. Mm -hmm. We don't plan anything. We, he brings ideas, I bring ideas, but it's not like we say, let's do this, point, let's go from, from A to B to C. Mm -hmm. We just get together like you and I, uh -huh. we're talking, and the first thing that came out of our mouth, both our, our, our head, mm -hmm. we were sitting there going, he was tired, he was coming off a tour, mm -hmm. I was in the middle of a tour, and we're looking at each other, wow, man. Man, we constantly take shit to the limit. We're constantly doing it. And I went, 
Hey, yeah. Boom, 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 boom. He came up with the chords, and before you know it, within 30 minutes, the song was done. All the lyrics came out, though. Everything just flashed it's out. It's very right? simple stuff. It's, it's nothing heavy about it. It's mm -hmm. just like, you know, enjoy life to the limit. Enjoy every moment. You know, you can get high without getting high. Find your way in life, you know, uh, and when you think you have to stop, don't stop, keep going, mm -hmm. take it to the edge, find out what the other side looks like, all that stuff. It's a nice that, message as well. Well, it is, but we didn't know we were going to have the corona party, right? Mm -hmm. Which is relevant now, uh, and uh, so that's, I think that's why people are reacting to it. Mm -hmm. The other songs have more of a, a cooler message, and I won't tell you, but we'll do another we one. We wait. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. Wait yeah. For it. yeah, yeah. And but I try to be in, in my writing, and, and uh, Sonia and I have the same mm -hmm. mentality, to be as positive as possible, to be as uplifting, mm -hmm. because there's a lot of crap out there. There's a lot of stuff that's, ah, that's dragging in. I don't know about you, but mm -hmm. when I go see a show, and I don't go out that often anymore, I go see my friends, I want to be uplifted. I want to walk away happy with a smile on my Me face too. going, that was really good Something stuff. Something that filled your soul positive and, uh -huh. uh, and optimistic mm -hmm. and there's enough bad stuff dark stuff so we try to think lay on the you know kind of lean on those lines so i see yeah yeah and uh, and also like the process i mean also i saw like the other guy i saw soren in the video yeah and the, the drummer right. and i was like mark worked with so many people at the same time and how how did you find all these guys and how did you <clears throat> i can't take any credit for that because it's we were in we were in Copenhagen and it's Soren's camp. Oh, okay. So and, he's uh, just like this, this, and that. All right, guys. He, Mark Mendoza he's the town. producer. Mm -hmm. He's a songwriter. Uh, he's my engineer. He's my friend. He's mm -hmm. my lover. He's my everything. I can't thank him enough. I always do every chance I get. He's a talented cat, and he loves what he does. Like I love what I do, mm -hmm. and I I tell them we're cut from the same tree. We come, we're. We're from the same tree, uh -huh. so we work together and we bounce off each other really well. And uh, yeah, man, it's it's a nice chemistry. But so he knows anybody and everybody in Denmark and in, in Scandinavia. Mm -hmm. The studio, Medley Studios, one of the it's becoming one of the quintessential studios mm -hmm. in the whole area. State of the art, they have everything you can imagine. I see. Everybody that works there is beautiful people, creative. Mm -hmm. It's just the center of Copenhagen, you know. Gotcha. So I, yeah. I landed in a good place with Sora. Right. And so he can call at any minute. And then people just pop in. Yeah, what do you need? You need this? Okay, boom, boom. And they come in. And then what do you, you Boom, come in. It's a trip, man. It's a, and now, Mike uh -huh. Tramp, I'm uh -huh. sorry to No, no worries, no worries. Mike Tramp happened to be, when we did Viva La Rock, he happened to be stopping by to say hello. Yeah, and we were doing, um, uh, we were doing Chinatown. Uh -huh. I was, I was doing a tribute to my years spent with, with Thin Lissy, mm -hmm. a cover of that, and he happened to be a huge fan, like I'm talking huge Thin Lissy fan, mm -hmm. like a lot of people. And so, you know, Soren and I invited him to sing, and he says, are you kidding? Yes! And so that's how things happen, you don't plan. I, in, my, in my point of view, those are the beautiful moments, because you capture them. They're not planned, pre-planned, or... Everything just preconceived. It's just life moving, like magic. Second, mm -hmm. minute to minute, and you capture it, and it's very cool. I see. Spontaneous. Mm -hmm. And to talk about the thing, I mean, the video. I mean, you guys recorded in Denmark, as you said, mm -hmm. Copenhagen. In Copenhagen. And uh, how was like getting like you know the people? Because I saw like a lot of people like getting tattoos and stuff. How was the he put oh, it together. I, I wish I could take crazy. any credit. I know. Uh -huh. He did it, man. He put it all together. He's another Soren uh -huh. in his medium. He knows everybody. They've been doing, they've been in business forever. Mm -hmm. So like you and I, we have our circles of people that we can call. So he put it together. He told me, this is my vision. What do you think? I said, yes, I like it. I want to do this. Yes. Yeah. So I had complete trust that he was going to come up with something great. And he did. And people are digging it. They love it. I mean, I mean, I, the I mean, younger kids are digging it. It's true because I mean, the, the whole, the whole video itself, like people getting tattoo, people like you know come in and out, and I was like, yeah, and you bouncing all over, and I was like, that's the Mark Mendoza style. Yeah. I like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mark, talking yes. about the album because I know the, the album's the pipeline. Can you can you tell us a little bit about? Because I know it's still 
sick of us? Uh, well, because of what's going on, we, we were having some issues of deciding when to release, what to release, mm -hmm. and all that. And we're still going through that. But we finally made a decision to go with New Direction, which is the second single mm -hmm. that's coming out. And all I can tell you about that song, it's, it's great. <laughs> it's a good song. I know I'm being biased because uh -huh. it's, you know, sorry and I wrote it. But the message, it's a good message. It's a real good message. And it's really relevant to what's mm -hmm. going on mm -hmm. today. Something for us to consider, a new way of thinking, you know. And, uh, and it's inspired by all the bands that I love, you know, the Beatles and the Stones and, and Aerosmith and Zeppelin and Purple and all that. Because the good old stuff. Yeah, because there's no way of not being influenced or inspired by these cats, you know. Even bands that I play with, you know, Coverdale and and uh, Thin Lizzy mm -hmm. and Nugent and it's information that kind of gets locked in there. And then when you when it's time for you to reinvent the mm -hmm. wheel, because you can't reinvent the wheel, you just you have another form of it, another formula. It all comes out. Uh -huh. So. Uh, I'm heavily influenced, I would say, by the Beatles, mm -hmm. because I'm a big, that Abbey Road, that album was my first album, and I have it in my heart, it's mm -hmm. in my DNA. Every time I listen to it, I almost cry, it's so beautiful, I, I get chills, and a lot of beautiful memories, mm -hmm. yeah. I, I always tell people, if I ever get to meet Paul McCartney, I'm probably going to shake and fall in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> Not really, but I'm a big fan, man, what, you know. Uh, and I have some friends playing with him, mm -hmm. and I haven't had a chance, but hopefully on this tour I'll get to go see him. Cross my but, uh, fingers for you. Yeah, so it's very inspired by that, mm -hmm. uh, inspired by uh, uh, lyrics and, and things, uh, themes that we need to talk mm -hmm. about today that are relevant, mm -hmm. very important to make things, people go, hmm. To click in a bit. Huh? So, and, and you know, uh, I believe the writing's getting mm -hmm. a little better, a little focused. Mm -hmm. Uh, and Soren and I are finding more of a rhythm, which is very cool, mm -hmm. very, very cool, very generic again. Mm -hmm. It's not like we spent hours and days and weeks, and it's minutes. It's literally minutes, maybe an hour. Uh -huh. And boom, boom, we find a direction, and we go boom, boom, and we get it done, and we move on. Best thing about well done. Well. It's, it's honest, mm -hmm. yeah, you know, and so I'm hoping that it gets well received. Mm -hmm. uh, that's in the next single, mm -hmm. and then and then the other one after that, it's even, I know that it's going gonna, it's gonna to do well. If it's handled right, you know, today there's a lot of business involved. But uh, the third single, I don't know if I should say anything, but uh, why not? Shoot for the stars. When life gets down and you get in the dumps and you want to give up mm -hmm. and the signs are there for you to stop, you can't. It's true. I just got chills. You can't. It's true. But, and your body, you're mm -hmm. exhausted emotionally, physically, psychologically. You've had enough. Life is bringing you down and it's beating Crushing you up. You. you have to look up and shoot for the stars. That's it. That's the message. This is true. Man, I can't wait. I can't wait. So it's, it's a lot of that stuff. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I started listening to it. Now on the road, I have a lot uh -huh. of time. And I'm going, wow, that is cool. I could hear... You know, I could hear Aerosmith doing this song, and mm -hmm. I could hear, uh, uh, you know, um, Coverdale's uh -huh. doing that song, and I could sing it's Purple, and I, because it comes from that, it's inspired from all that stuff. A little bit on the, on the, if you say, if you have to put a label, on the pop side, because it's really relevant mm -hmm. and accessible. I hear you. But it's got the heavy stuff, it's got mm -hmm. the great playing. Tommy Gentry got to play. Oh, Tommy, huh? Uh, which is amazing. Can't he did wait. some amazing work, Can't and uh, so he came, he came and played uh -huh. on some tracks. And then Soren, of course, Soren's playing is amazing unbelievable. Tours, yeah. And so it's a great team, man. It's mm -hmm. a great album, and uh, I'm excited. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to do everything in my power to get it out there by playing shows, mm -hmm. by doing interviews like you. Thank you. No, thank obrigado, you. Monte obrigado. De nada. Uh, because I want to spread the word. Mm -hmm. I really believe in this. More than anything else that I believed in, I really believe in this. So I hope, you know, we'll give it a try. And Marco, any dates of the releasing of the album or? Uh, well, <clears throat> the single came out April 15th. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, we didn't back it up like we did, but it came out. So now we're really, we want to get a strategy behind mm -hmm. for the next release. I'm shooting for maybe 
the end of June. I mean, that, soon. Yeah, soon. Yeah, soon. soon. We're shooting for that. Uh -huh. So we're talking with the label of Michael and uh, we're trying to coordinate things. And then also the other single would be the, the end of July, beginning of August for the summer. Awesome. Because it's a great summer song. Mm -hmm. It really is. And then the album at the end of August, September. Mm -hmm. Those are our plans, but we st we're still living in the changing world in the music business. Having said that, we will see, we roll the dice and we'll see where it goes. See how it goes. And uh, about the, 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 the tour 2022, you start in Denmark, right? In Scandinavia, more or less. No, no, no I started in Scotland. You start, sorry, I'm really sorry. That's all right. In UK, I started yeah. in, in Scotland in 1935. <laughs> no. No, we started in Scotland. I was I, I actually at the end of uh, March. I, I got there on the 27th. Mm -hmm. We did rehearsal, and the reason for that, the reason why this whole tour happened, mm -hmm. to be honest, is because back in 20, I was scheduled to do the UK bass and guitar show. Oh. That was, I believe, in Manchester. And uh, we know what happened. The Corona party happened, so everything stopped. The whole world stopped. And then they rescheduled it for 21, April of 21. That didn't happen. So they rescheduled for September of 21. That didn't happen. So I would kind of given up. Mm -hmm. And then January of 22, I got a call uh, saying, you know, Neil, uh, the organizers, were thinking about doing it this, a uh, this April, mm -hmm. April 1st. And we would love to have you. Would you still be able to do it? And I said, absolutely. He says, the conditions have changed. We've negotiated and all that. But I love the UK. I love my peeps there. I have a lot of friends. I have a lot mm -hmm. of fans that are so loving and so supportive that I can't imagine coming this way and not going there. Mm -hmm. So that was the beginning. So I, I, you know, I, I committed to the, the bass guitar show. Mm -hmm. And then I said, I talked to my friend Mark. I says, this this feel around, see how many gigs we can do if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna be in the UK, and it's might as well. as much as you can. So mm -hmm. we ended up with nine, 10 dates, and then you know, I said, well, hmm. We announced those dates, and then, you know, and then Denmark calls, and friends call. Why not and, to do Europe as well? And Romania, and Czech yeah, Republic, and, and well. Slovakia, and so on, and Holland, and Belgium, mm -hmm. and now we're still adding dates right now. Oh, man, so good. I'm excited, I'm happy. Uh, I mean, it's a long, it's a, it's a big tour. It's a big tour. Uh -huh. Right now, our last date is July 22nd, and then I go home. Mm -hmm. I was planning on going home for August, but now there's dates coming in for August, so festivals. So we have to balance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, the idea is to come back when the full release of the album is mm -hmm. there in September, October, November. So we're booking those now. Oh, man, this is good. A ton of them mm -hmm. already. I think we're going to end up going to the moon. Anybody want to go? Come on, let's go to the moon. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cool? That would be to nice. Do a, Mark yeah. Mendoza the moon, like you know, the, the, the Mark Mendoza tree. Everybody the, like the Marco Mendoza, <laughs> Marco Mendoza uh, show. Where on the moon? It's, it was beautiful. It never sounded better. Nobody was there, but it was gorgeous. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> Marco, so tonight, yes, Vienna, Austria. Yes. I'm sure it's gonna be a kick-ass show we're hoping yeah yeah it, you i'm know, sure i've seen the sh your shows before i'm sure it's gonna be like we have a great time bro mm -hmm. we really do i've got some great players i've got kyle hughes on, on drums who's been playing with me a little bit so as a bass mm -hmm. player we have that that chemistry and for me it's a lot of fun to uh -huh. play with great drummers is my thing my thing and then um uh, tommy had some prior commitments tommy mm -hmm. chantry so he's no longer here but um, uh, I was lucky to come across Ivan Keller mm -hmm. from Chelusik, and uh, uh, he's killing it. He's oh, a beautiful I can't wait cat. To see tonight. I can't he's wait a beautiful to see cat inside and out, but uh -huh. he plays really great. And uh, so we have fun on stage, mm -hmm. and we connect in a deeper way. Mm -hmm. yeah. So tonight, I'm sure it's gonna be a kick-ass show. Yes, yes. And then tomorrow, you guys, where are you guys going tomorrow? We're supposed to go to Denmark, but. Question mark. We won't get into it, mm -hmm. but there's some issues. Oh, okay. Travel issues, quarantine, uh, oh. vaccine, oh, this contracts, mm -hmm. flights, 
it's getting a little difficult. So without getting into detail, we're going to have to maybe not postpone or move. Don't want to talk about that. Goes. But the next show is in, back in Romania. Uh-huh. And uh, we go from Romania to France. France to, oh, we're doing the Wacken Cruise, the first one ever. Oh, yeah, that's true. We got to do the Wacken Cruise. Uh, tell us a little bit about it, because well, I'm real curious. I wish I could tell you. I mean, I've done a lot of cruises. Uh-huh. I've done tons of them. I did like Most of seven, the, most of the rock. seven, not that one. I did the Kiss Cruise. Oh, the Kiss Cruise, yeah, yeah. I did six right. or sorry. seven yeah. with them, mm-hmm. and uh, they're, they're a blast. Mm-hmm. In that <clears throat> you have, um, you're floating. It's a floating town, you know. With a lot of people. With a lot of fans and uh, a lot of players, a lot of music, a lot of good food. Hopefully the weather will be good. Mm -hmm. Uh, So uh, it's the first one of its kind for Bakken, Mm -hmm. Bakken Cruise. So uh, I'm excited, man. Uh, And and for me, yeah. And for me as an artist, Mm -hmm. as a solo artist, it's great exposure because I get to play in front of quite a few folks Mm -hmm. and they go back to their respective homes and they say, you know, we heard this cat, Michael Mendoza, and uh, he's got some cool stuff. So the word spreads a little bit. I hear you. Uh, so I'm excited about that. Mm-hmm. And then we come back, we do German dates. They're starting to book. Germany's opening up, mm-hmm. which is great. And so on and, and so on. goes. Any, any chance to go to South America, Brazil, Argentina, Colombia? I got invited, and I'm waiting. I am waiting for some info to come in, to mm-hmm. be honest. And... Uh, I hope it happens. It's, it, so far, it's not settled. It's not confirmed, mm-hmm. but there's some some stuff floating. Cool. For, and that would be for August. So, which would be great. I, I I haven't been down there in a while. I love it down there, man. Oh yeah, the last time we were there with with days is like 2016, Santiago, 17. Yeah. Santiago, Chile. Chile as well. Uh, and uh, but I love Brazil. Not man. because you're here. I love Brazil. I have I've gone there so many times with so many projects, but. Uh, St- You're my people. Back. It's the same people. Mm-hmm. We're the same people. Latinos, man. We love music. It's we true. love a good time. We love the culture. We love food. The, the art. The, the, the rhythm. The, 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 yeah, the, the rhythm. The, yeah. Uh, so I always have a blast there. And uh, so I'm looking so forward to that. So maybe we can see you in Brazil. Yeah, we want to go to Brazil. I'd like to go to Brazil if I make it that far. Mm-hmm. Brazil, Argentina, Chile, mm-hmm. and maybe Venezuela. Venezuela. Colombia I was there with Dolores or Reardon. Oh yeah, uh huh. Rest in peace, little angel. Uh, but and that was a blast. So I take it down there. I speak the language. I, you follow poco portugués, so I can get by a little bit. But hablo español. Todo so mundo habla español. It's easy. Yeah. So anyway, that's what's going. on. Full of restrictions. You gotta live in it. You can't change it, right? True. That's it, Marco. And viva you. la rock, baby. Leave it we'll see you tonight. Yes, sir. We'll Thanks, brother. Bye.